Welcome back to the channel, everyone. It is I, D Ant One, bring you episode six, playthrough part six, my playthrough part six of WWE 2K24, My Rise Unleashed, the female version. Sorry, I could not stream yesterday, but it was due to personal reasons. So there's that. But at least I'm streaming today, and I'll more to make up for WCW tomorrow and Friday. As always, a big thank you in advance to those that might watch the stream live. As it goes on for the next one to two hours or so. And a big thank you in advance to those that still might watch the stream on demand or on replay. Whatever you like to call it when a stream is no longer live anymore. Hope you all had a good weekend. And uh, without further ado, let's get the show underway. I had to restart this a few times because I had to update my YouTube uh, app. It's the captain of the silver screen, daddy. That is not, that cannot be McFoley's voice. I did look pretty good up there, didn't I? What are you up to, Mick? If there's anyone who understands this journey you're on, it's good old Mick and all his faces. I'm like your fairy godfather. That is no way, in no way, shape, or form McFoley's voice. It, it really isn't. <laughs> it can't be. Fairy godfather? You got that right, Daddy. Dude has done everything there is to do in WWE. Mankind was a monster. Cactus Jack was the most brutal SOB on Earth. And Dude Love, well, Dude is the cat's meow. Meow, all right. Believe me, I know. You're one of my heroes. Great. I'm here to trip the light fantastic down memory lane and give you the opportunity to try something unique via mix special pixie dust. Hmm. Intriguing. It sure is. Just like you and your star turn. I can relate to that. After all, Dude Love knows a little something about being a star. He's the life of the Bardukey, the center of the universe, the cat's pajamas, just like you. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> yes. Ow, have mercy. Now that you've had a taste of the good life, you're going to have to fight to stay at the top of the pack. Everybody wants what you got. You can say that again. Everybody wants what you got. So you ready to protect what you have like the international beloved heartthrob I know you are? Even if it means defending against them all at once? That is the worst McFoley voice impression I've ever heard. You're damn right, Mick. I'm still the coolest cat and the biggest star, and none of these squares can take that from me. Then let's get this part dookie started. If that is real if that is McFoley's voice then fair play but i don't think that's his voice i think it's an impersonator and if it is an impersonator pretty bad job as oh yeah guys sorry for my last wwe 2k24 stream abruptly ending because it was the game crash i ended up finishing the love storyline of loser leaves raw so i want to get that done and not start it off with this stream i just wanted to start off with the mcfoley story Who is Joan facing up today on her very first match of the stream? Who's this? I don't know who this is. I have no clue who this is. Who the fuck is it? What the? Who is this? Tiffany, of course! Tiffany! Oh, I feel like a complete moron now for not knowing that was Tiffany. <laughs> Chelsea! Karen Green in the house! Natalia, the Queen of Hearts! Yeah, very sorry about that, eh? About my Liv Morgan storyline. Uh, speaking of Liv, here she comes. Because it was right at the end of the Liv storyline where Ferguson was facing Liv in a Loser Leaves Raw match on at SummerSlam. And when that stream ended due to the crash, I, I completed that match because I figured there's no point in starting off the stream uh, with this. I just wanted to start off with Mike Foley. Here we go! 
I wonder what kind of storyline we have here with Mick Foley. Are we going to become the hardcore goddess? Are we going to be? Are we going to have a split personality? Make new gimmicks? Very interested to see about this Mick Foley storyline. Charlotte Flair ain't gonna eliminate Ferguson. No fucking way, bitch. You don't eliminate Ferguson. Ferguson eliminates you. And Liv Morgan. Ferguson and Liv Morgan still have a feud. Liv's supposed to leave Raw, actually. She lost that match. Liv is eliminated. Yeah. So tomorrow will be WCW Universe Mode and WWE 2K22 when I stream that. Hot off the heels of the Starcade pay-per-view to make up for not streaming yesterday. And then uh, Thursday will be 2K24 again. Friday will be WCW Thunder and WCW Saturday Nights. And then Saturday will be 2K24. Liv is not eliminated, so it's not a Battle Royale. I thought this was a Battle Royale. I don't... Oh, well. I say, it says, try to win the six-woman match. Okay. You don't have to win. Try to win. All right. I'll try my best. Ferguson has already lost twice in this uh, in this whole My Rice series. She's won more than she's lost. And she has faced every single person in this match except for Tiffany Stratton in a one-on-one -on -one match. Which is crazy. I'm really hoping at some point in the My Rise Unleashed we get to see Thea Hale, one of my crushes. We already saw JC Jane. Always a pleasure to see her, but I want to see Thea Hale in some capacity. Ferguson on the top row! Body splash into a botch! Liv Morgan still jealous of Ferguson having a better career than her in Hollywood. Down she goes! Into the cover! Nobody can stop the freak! Ferguson has been for a lot for over the past few months from being a supernatural entity to being Rhea Ripley's puppy to uh, living it up in Hollywood. This is going to be very hard. Got ya! Oh no! Steel chair by the freak! You don't... Dude Love! Dude Love! Where did he come from? Where the fuck did Dude Love come from? I didn't even realize he was even in the match! There's so many people to, um... Focus on... That I didn't even see Dude Love there! Weird... Weird but cool! Have mercy! Tiffany Stratton with the sidewalk slam to the big freak. She might be the captain, but she's sort of freak. I don't think so. Get it, Ferguson! Bob Handle, slam your ass! Neck breaker! Time to end this match, if possible. Charlotte, you ruined it! You fucking ruined it! Come on, referee! Come on, referee! One, two, yes! Too good! Too good! So what is the storyline of McFoley going to entail? We are finding out. We want you to experience WWE and we are indeed. Ain't that right, ain't that right my friends? Is that it? Is that it? I'm gonna have to rename the stream. Seriously, that's it? Wow!
I'm gonna have to rename the stream now. I thought we we're gonna have a full-on stream like these three of McFoley. Oh well. Rename the stream I will after I complete this one. Someone's been busy, hasn't she? I'd like to think I understood the assignment. That you have. And it's still the tip of the iceberg. I have a fantastic opportunity for you. I'm listening. How would you like to try your hand at one of the most unique experiences in WWE? A position where you'll be able to set the agenda, take control of the whole of the WWE universe, and truly make a mark. And this magical mystery opportunity will let me do all that? Indeed, in the prestigious role of WWE Raw General Manager. Oh! What, are you going on vacation or something? Well, now that you mention it, I may have plans. Aha! But this is fertile ground for you too. Stepping into a WWE authority role, applying your talents to the other side of sports entertainment. Sure, booking may be a balancing act sometimes, but you already know that from your work as co-owner of TBD. I'm not convinced that this offer isn't just because you want a vacation. But nonetheless, I'll do it. Splendid! I can't wait to catch my flight. Um, uh, see you in action. So when do I start? Well, I should start heading to the airport. So, <laughs> how's now? <laughs> Seriously? Don't worry, Raw practically GMs itself. Sure, Bianca needs a challenger for Survivor Series. Bailey and Becky have both been bothering me incessantly about their booking, and the suits in Stanford are especially sensitive to ratings right now. But you'll figure it out. All that GMs itself? Are you sure that's it? Yes. Oh, wait. No. Charlotte needs an opponent for tonight. Actually, this is a good way for you to set the tone of how you'll be running Raw. Every match should tell a story, so you just need to decide which story you'd like to tell. Interesting. Are you going to choose an up-and-comer like Nikita Lyons to challenge the Queen? Maybe someone she has a lot of history with, like Rhea Ripley. Or maybe you want to dig into Charlotte's past a bit further. She goes way back with Natalia, including the feud that made Charlotte the first woman to hold all major singles titles in WWE. So, what kind of story do you want to tell? Interesting. You to take on Charlotte. I like this. Let's go with Natalia, why not? Is an OG around here. And I want to reward consistent fans with a match that has some long-term history to it. I'll book her against Charlotte this week. Fantastic choice. Well, good luck to you. I have every confidence. And just a word of advice. Do try to be as neutral as possible as GM. You may find yourself rooting for the talent you put forth. Sometimes even as strongly as if you were in the ring yourself. <laughs> yeah, about that, eh? Uh, when Ferguson in the Wentworth series was uh, the governor, as in the warden leading the prison, she was a control freak, a tyrant. And when she was a prisoner in Wentworth as top dog, meaning the boss of all the women's in the um, general population, she was a control freak too. It was her way on the highway. Am I going to be Natalia? Okay. I'm going to be Natalia. General manager. So far, it looks promising. Cap has made one match here, Cole. Let's not give her. Was not expecting to be Natalia. I thought I was just going to be Ferguson backstage doing the um, building the matches and storylines. But oh well. The wind knocked out of you. Never a good time for that to happen. Yeah. Charlotte rolls out of the way. The attack, just a smidge quicker. WrestleMania 40 is getting very, very close. Not entirely too pumped for it. It's going to be okay, I guess. Not the greatest WrestleMania of all time, especially the build has been laughable. The queen looking disgusted. But I am. I do want to see Roman and Rock and Cody. Outside, but this one and that's basically about it. Oh, and, what, and we're Ripley and Becky Lynch, of course. That's pretty. Uh, but 
as I said on the uh, last stream I did of 2K24, it should be Liv and Rhea Ripley alone. But if you, but if you still wanted to add Liv, then why not make it a triple threat match? Liv, Becky, and uh, Rhea for the women's world title. Liv should be part of it in some capacity, in a big time feel. Into the pin. The what the what is the referee doing? Where is he? Oh, fuck you. Oh my god. Oh, god. Referee. Oh. The Seriously, the referee wouldn't even pin. Would not even pin. I make I mean make the count. Sorry, not pin. Make the count. Not much of you. Right yeah. Now we're even. Pendulum backbreaker. Pendulum backbreaker stretch. Yesterday, when I had time to myself, after a busy personal days, that's why I couldn't stream. I finally, finally completed and won the 30-man elimination gauntlet match in this game. Blimmin' insane but fun match, nonetheless. And I did say I would stream a Gauntlet 30 Man Elimination match at some point. It'll probably be after I complete both the women's and men's versions of my rows. I don't know if I still want to do GM mode. Ah, streaming GM mode. I think I might want to do that by myself off stream, but we'll see. At least you guys are getting my rise, and I'm happy to do that. Oh, big boot by Charlotte. Sorry, I was a little bit late to the stream too, by the way. I had to update my YouTube app so I can uh, interact with anyone that's, that speaks in the stream chat section. Because when I streamed before, it wouldn't pop up on my YouTube channel. Which is annoying and weird, but at least you guys can see me now. Oh, crap. Hope everyone's, have, hope everyone's having a good week so far. And we'll enjoy yeah, yourselves in my streams or for whatever you guys have planned for the rest of the week. Who is your crush in WWE? Main roster or uh, NXT? Mine is JC and Thea, baby! Come on! Oh no, I'm not gonna make it, am I? Nah, I'm not gonna make it. Tap out! Tap out! Oh, got herself out of it. Charlotte just run. Dumbass! It's over! Natalia's gonna win like the veteran she is! Yep. Got the surprise pin! Here is your winner! Yep, Charlotte played to the fans. Got a little cocky there, and it cost her big time. So I'm going to have to rename the stream uh, GM. Jones, Jones, the general manager, or something like that. I was really expecting the full on McFoley storyline, but it's cool. It's cool. Damn, Joan looking good. Very good. Yep, she's a random ring competitor, but. Yeah, well, she couldn't have refused an opportunity like that to call the shots. It may, some, it may be something she want to do. She might want to do when she doesn't want to wrestle anymore, but still wants a place in the wrestling business in WWE. Right. This is going to be fun. Hold on. Let me just update her. Alexa Bliss is in the background. She's back. We have not seen her since the uh, Supernatural storyline. But we haven't seen shots in a long time either. Due to their storyline. Go back to episode 1 and 2 for that. In my stream. I'm not here to fight. Good. I don't want to fight either. Then maybe we can work together on my idea? And what's that? Survivor Series. I know for a fact 
that not only has Raw not announced a main event, but Regal had nothing in the plans yet. So, let's take the bull by the horns and do something truly spectacular. Like what? War games. Hell yeah. I can't just book a war games match, Shotzi. Why not? Are you GM in name only? No, I mean, I love war games as much as the next person. But it's not a match to be taken lightly. You need a reason. Something that merits putting two teams who want each other's throats inside a double ring cage to battle it out with abandon. Who would even be the captains? I captained my team in NXT, and I was excellent. Ah, uh, so this is the classic, my pitch is that I should be in a main event pitch, right? There are rules to booking. Excuse me, but when did Little Miss TBD Rebel, who puts people through tables, become a lawful, good rule follower? Don't you ever just want to smash things for the hell of it anymore? <laughs> That's not the point. I'm taking my role as GM seriously, Shotzi. It's hot shotting to just announce a War Games match. You sound like a WWE suit. Let's screw the so-called rules. Put yourself in the match against me, and we can absolutely destroy each other in that cage. Are you fucking for Make real? Teams go all out, and millions of people tune in to watch the joyful carnage. The two of us are perfect for war games. You're the captain, and I already drive a tank to the ring for crying out loud. You know what, Shotzi? It might not be a terrible idea. Let me think on it. That's all I'm asking for. Bro, Ferguson already whooped your ass. They got herself a contract and threw to be in the first place. She power bombed Shotzi through the fucking table. You're not here to give me another amulet, are you? No amulets this time. Just praise for your booking as the new GM. Praise? I will accept. I appreciated that you brought attention to a rivalry that was strong, but that might not be top of mind for more recent viewers. You seem to really care about deeper cuts of WWE history. I do, actually. You can reference rivalries from the past without alienating newer members of the WWE universe. In that case, maybe you'd want to help me with something. I never truly got to settle things with my old friend Nikki Cross. We had a few matches after our time tagging with each other, but we have unfinished business. I gotcha. I'll set up a match for the next Raw. Okie dokie. Ferguson's g going straight for it. Oh, now this clown. If I could have a minute. <sighs> what is it, Troy? I honestly don't have time for your tone tonight. I'm trying to manage a show. My tone? I would never use a tone with you. I, I think you're doing a great job. Top notch. I think he has a secret crush on her. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. Oh, you're serious. I guess now that I'm the management, you have to suck up to me. I'm not sucking up. I, I think your ideas are genius, boss. Yeah, he's sucking up. I have faith in them, but that doesn't mean I'm not still nervous in this role. But what can I help you with? Yeah, Becky and Bailey. They're being particularly difficult in hounding us to be named Bianca's next challenger at Survivor Series. Ah, I'm sure they snuck into your DMs too, but I'm used to superstars pestering us for opportunities. <laughs> no offense. But this is getting out of hand. How do you want me to handle it? Why don't we just have Becky and Bailey face each other for the title opportunity? It'll be a great match and solve our problem. Great suggestion, boss. I'll set it up. Wow. You really know your stuff. Uh, that was, that's, that's, that, that's, that's 101. <laughs> I'm get used to this version of you, Troy. That's fucking 101 right there. They, they both want a shot at the title. You put them in a the match and then whoever wins faces the champion for the title at the pay-per-view. Hello, dumbass. Fucking dumbass. Even I'm not a booker, right? Even I fucking know that. What's that say? Uh, I'm gonna back Elixir on this one. Alright. <laughs> 
so far so good with this GM mode, uh, GM storyline. The freak is in charge of Monday Night Raw. When now, when she was in control of R- Wentworth, she had like this whole big bun over here. It was pretty cool, but I couldn't be bothered making that version. Pay attention. Friends turn enemies, partners turn foes. Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross have a lot of history together. Much as I like Alexa Bliss, while well, love her, I do not like that attire she had there. I think it's pretty bad. Her best attire was when she was Dark Alexa. Or when she was still the goddess before all that. But that's just my opinion. Well, is Nikki Cross still even in WWE? I mean, she must be if she's still in the game, but she hasn't been seen on Monday Night Raw in such a long time. Is she alright? Has she been held back? I mean, what is going on with Nikki? Oh no! Speaking of Nikki Cross, man, she is so underappreciated and underrated. She's adorable, she's entertaining, she's hot, good in the ring. It's just a shame she doesn't get her juice or the, the chance to really shine. A relentless attack being brought to Alexa. Fuck, I'm getting my ass whooped. Carefully placed stop to the arm. Nikki is really unloading her frustrations on her former friend Lexi. Nikki just adding salt to the wound right now. Oh come on. DDT Alexa Bliss Clothesline To the chat room Woo Got your ass Boom Alexa is getting fired up. There's that intelligence on display from Bliss. She knew exactly where to put that maneuver. This could be big. Oh no! Oh no! Return fire from Alexa from the top rope. Beautiful drop kick. Yeah. Carrying the momentum of this match. Bliss is executing her game plan. Oh man, Alexa. Shoulders down. This could be the into the cover. Wow. Just like that. Just like that, Nikki Cross is done for. <laughs> she didn't last long at all. There's a new boss on Monday Night Raw. Come to congratulate me on a successful show. Oh, I was just out back soaking in the success of the Alexa Nikki match. So you didn't see the number one contender match with Becky and Bailey? Obviously not. No, that match practically booked itself. Why? Who won? Who are we putting against Bianca at Survivor Series? We have a problem. Damage control ran in during the match, and at first it looked like maybe a straightforward DQ victory for Becky, but then she got irked and went after them. And technically the bell rang at some point, but with all the fighting that broke out outside the ring, nobody really won. And we still need a challenger for Bianca. Wow. If I may make a meager suggestion, Survivor Series is right around the corner. You may just have to step up as GM and make a decision. No, we still have one Raw left before Survivor Series. Let's do a rematch. Becky versus Bailey to determine Bianca's challenger. Yeah, but put it in a steel cage. That should stay clear of damage control. Do you think the match will go any differently this time around? I do. Because as much as it pains me to admit it, you're right about one thing. I need to step up as GM. Special so guest referee. Special guest referee. Holy shit. Special guest referee and GM uh my right, sweet as. Fergus is gonna turn ill. <laughs> she's gonna side with Becky or she's gonna side with what's her name?
I said I know. Do 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 do. Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, Becky. No offense to Bailey, she's cool, but Becky, uh, Becky on this one. Besides, Bailey's getting a title shot at WrestleMania for real life, anyway, so. It's fine. Ugh. Whoa! I wonder how much I gotta do left in my rise of this version. Because after this, I am doing the male version with Terry Silva from Cobra Kai. Whoa! It should be a steel cage match. This is gonna end the mis This isn't gonna end well. Even if I play, if even if I'm partial. General manager, the captain promises that we'll have a number one contender by the end of this match. Will it be Becky Lynch or Bailey? We'll know soon enough. And with Cap as special guest referee, it should be a fair contest. How? I haven't really played as I really haven't played as a guest referee before. Impossible not to pick a side. I haven't played as guest referee before, so when Bricky is pinning, press the down of the analog and then press X. Okay, got ya. Just cynic. I'm a realist. Turned that one around. She re-enters the ring now. Oh, look at this. She goes for the quick pin. No contact being made. <laughs> 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 for a rope break. That's awful. Hey, yeah, Bailey, you ain't getting it, Bailey. Screw you, Bailey. Oh, nice cover here. A kick out. This one's not over yet. She's not wasting any time going after an early pinfall. So how do I do it? Press and then press X. Screw job! Let's do a screw job! <laughs> how do I do it? I can't. I, I don't. I don't know how to do it. I am pressing the end. What does that say? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I press that first, and then I press X. Whatever. This is good. That was an example of This is going to really take a while, isn't it? Because I'm not used to doing special guest referees in this game. Uh, elbow, down. Have to imagine that's a blow to Becky's ego and confidence. Hard <laughs> Come on, Becky. Thrown back in under the ropes. Come on, Bicky. Do me proud. And I'll try. With the slam. Knee left. Uh-oh. Come on, Bicky. Come on, Bicky. Bicky, two cheeks. Uh -oh. Looking good in the game. Look at that ass. Clothesline. Lynch's strategy paying dividends. Bailey looks unprepared. On the top. And she doesn't connect. Up high and Oh, I don't think so. Dribbling the opponent 
his head like a basketball. <laughs> Oof. She is not abused in the slightest. Playing it to the crowd, Joan is. And she's still got that glove on too. I'm doing it! I'm fucking doing it! I don't know how. I'm doing it! Oh! I see! I see! It's the it's the right analog stick. Got ya! Got ya! Here we go. And Lynch does not like coming up short, guys. This is only in See now, playing by our own set of rules here. First day on the job, Sax. There we go. Now I know how to do it. Come on, Becky. Kick out at one. Unbelievable. More like inhuman. And Bailey can barely believe it. Bailey had her dead to rights. Right. So <laughs> now I know how to do special guest referee matches. Sorry, it took me a while as being a noob. But. Things not going how she'd like. That's oh, well. Role model, Bailey, making it perfectly clear she's not backing down at all. Into the ring again. Perfect ring count. Very good. Come on, Becky. Come on, Becky. Come on, Becky. We can't. I can't do this all stream. I got other matches to do in the storyline. Stun gun. Stun gun. I'm not being leisurely, bro. I'm not being leisurely. I'm trying to do it without being ejected. I'm trying to be partial here. Oh man! And that holds Becky back. Get it, Becky! Get it, Becky! Now I know how to do it. <laughs> Ferguson just turned heel. She turned heel. Ah, shut up, Bailey. Shut up. And you too, Camilla. Shut up. Austin Creed, get out of here. And Triple H, you have no business of saying anything. You're a bad booker. Ferguson knows what's best. She always does. You were the one who said I should put my finger on the scale. Yeah, but I thought that and don't get caught part was implied. I wasn't actively trying to get caught. Too bad you don't have the chance to course correct the championship match before Survivor Series. But maybe I do. How? Survivor Series is this weekend. You can't send Becky and Bailey back out there tonight for another rematch. No, but there's another option. As someone said recently, I'm Miss TBD Rebel, not a lawful good wool follower. And Raw is a three-hour show. There's an announcement I need to make. All right, Miss TBD Rebel. Whatever you've got up your sleeve, good luck. The freak will address the third of the universe later tonight with a major announcement. Very well. Hmm. 
This is the second time we've seen the acting Raw general manager in the ring tonight, but this time she has a special announcement. Here's hoping this goes more smoothly than her stint as special guest referee. As GM, I'm not deaf to the concerns of the WWE Universe. Specifically, that my involvement in our number one contender match earlier tonight may have made it look like management was biased towards Becky Lynch. I assure you, my intent as GM is simply to put on the best show for the WWE Universe. And that applies to not just Raw, but Survivor Series. As such, it is my duty to inform you that Bianca Belair will not be defending the Women's World Championship this weekend. Oh my. Bianca's being pulled from Survivor Series? She will not be defending this weekend because it's clear Bailey and Becky Lynch are not done yet. I just hope they have allies to rally to their side. Eight fighters, two teams of four. War Games! War Games at Survivor Series? I'm not missing this one. Well, we're paid to be there, Saxton. I know, but it's still incredibly exciting. How about that? War Games! It's better start a War Games without, um... William Regal, you know, when he says that, War Games! Well, not like that, but you know what I mean. Have you ever heard him say that? War Games a brilliant idea! Who thought of that? We are so lucky to have such a creative GM who gives credit and opportunities. Oh, shut up, Shotzi. Hold on. Hold on. GM McCaptain just happened to hear that Bianca needs next time. I love I have the best suggestion. Spoiler, it's me, Bailey with Bianca. <laughs> right, let's get back to it. You really did it this time, didn't you, you dummy? Yeah, keep talking that way, and I'll screw you out of the title match again. I think you'd be happy that you're getting another opportunity to earn the title match in War Games. Should have just booked the War Games match from the start, honestly. Want to be on my team? Why do you want me on your team? I think it's pretty clear from your time as GM that you've been going into business for yourself here, and just doing whatever you can to scrape by. And that's exactly what I look for in damage control. So what do you say? Join me, Dakota, and Io in the fight to secure my WWE Women's World Championship match? I'll get back to you. That's gonna be a no from me, dog. I hate damage control. Worst group ever. I probably should be upset at you for putting another hurdle in front of my title match. But honestly... Fair play. Glad we're okay. We are. And I respect your hustle. You've made a lot of bold choices since coming to WWE. It's one of the reasons I want you to be on my War Games team. Really? I like your instincts, especially when you get in trouble and have to think quickly on your feet. Heck, I even trust your instincts. Team with me, and I'll let you pick the rest of the War Games team. Uh, let me think about it. Well, this is a no-brainer. I'm gonna be big. I'm gonna just be with Becky. Just straight up. Hey, I've been looking for you. I thought we were gonna meet outside of catering. <laughs> Turns out I was pretty busy in here. Both Becky and Bailey want me to be on their war games team. You can't be serious. <laughs> you lost this up so badly, and they both want you on their team? Hmm. What can I say? I'm a catch. I swear, there's something in the water around here that allows you to walk away from the consequences of your actions unscathed. <laughs> I'm sure putting yourself into the main event while you're also acting GM will be no different. Thanks for another great promoter lecture. Look, I know you're gonna do it anyway. Who are you teaming with? 
Becky. All right. So this is a, a decision breaker here. These icons choose the trajectory of your story or, or which superstars might line with you in the future. Try playing undisputed multiple times to experience the opposite. Yep. Becky. Becky said she'd let me pick the rest of the team. I'm joining her side. Can't wait for you to get absolutely no flack for putting yourself into the match that you set up. Have you decided who else you'll ask to join you and Becky? Interesting. It's time for war games here. Becky said she'll let you pick a teammate. Select two to join you and Becky to take on Bailey's team. Holy shit. Okay. Where's the champ? What? No, Rhea Ripley. Come on. Now, who am I going to choose for our team? Manny? No, we don't want her. We're going to need we're gonna need a bad one like Sonya, uh, Shayna. And we're going to need, let's see. Fuck that. You know what? Mmm, Psycho Sally. Why not? Well, good luck. I'm sure it'll be interesting. Probably not. Give Psycho Sally her big her big moment on TV on, on a huge WWE pay-per-view. There's a new boss on Monday Night Raw. Do 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 do. Do, do, do. Oh, we're going to go straight to War Games. Nice. The following is a women's War Games match. The rules of the match are as follows. Two teams will be contained in... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. ...of each team starting the match. At regular intervals, alternating members from each team will be released to enter yep. the match. We're good. We're good. Cap wanted a war, and now she has one. Yeah, I'm gonna have to rename the stream. Mate, I thought the McFoley storyline would be long, but it's not long. It was one and done, so I'm gonna have to rename it GM. Bailey. War Games is a match with no rock. Uh -oh. oh fuck! 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 Good job by Bailey there. There we go. Get your ass up. There was no way I was going to join Bailey in damage control because damage control is one of the worst groups I have ever seen in my entire life as a wrestling fan. No clear objective, no no story, no agent, no, no chemistry. They're, they're a team because they have nothing to do with them. What does this competitor have planned for their opponent? From the middle rope Oh, and Bailey's taking it to the freak. She had it scouted. But not for long. Too bad I couldn't pick Rhea Ripley. I guess if I had chose Bailey, then Rhea Ripley would have been on uh Bailey's team, but oh well. As them in the corner, getting it. Eat a clothesline! And now a Irish whip. Big time power slam. And that's how it's done. Ferguson in charge of Monday Night Raw. You would have thought. Oh no! They would have thought. I didn't expect that to happen anyway. Who is it? The holding cage has been open. Becky. Handicap match here, gentlemen. Turning the tables. That's two on one. Unfortunate for you, Bailey, but very fortunate for us. We're gonna whoop your ass. Right. Who's on Bailey's team? Oh yeah. Tamina, Dakota, EO, I think. Like they say, what goes up must come down, and that was a long way down. Now, Becky, where did you put that weapon, that kendo stick? There it is. Lynch setting up for something. Yeah! 2-1-1 beatdown. 
Uh, this is the closest anyone in the audience will get to the big time. And yeah. Each of these have Concussion the City. These are the kind of attacks that completely throw off your equilibrium. And it is clear the mission now is to destroy and incapacitate. Power bomb. Oh, but Bailey fighting out of it. Dakota Kai is coming up. Finally able to slow all that incoming offense. If Bailey was looking for an opportunity to pull a 180, that could be it. Mere seconds away from evening the odds. And nice one, Vicky. Nice one. She's. Now she's allowing the. There she comes. To simply soak it all in like a bat out of hell and about to even things up in more games. Hard to grab or apply a proper hold after a move like Vicky, that. you ruined my plan. Oh well, at least I got the kind of guy to play with. And for a world of her, the war games cage, no idea what her plan can be. From the top, nice. This now Ferguson going to the top of the cage. What did it say? Team up with Bicky. So, oh yes. Strong suplex. And here we go. Oh shit! Oh shit! Only bad things happen from that decision. Oh fuck! No way! Effective arm drag. Drops the hammer. Right on. What's going on? Okay. Weird. There we go. Oh, that was awesome. That was awesome. The way Ferguson came down like that, knocking down both Dakota and Bailey. You you can't tell me that wasn't awesome because that was. Close line. And she releases the hold as she feels that enough damage has been done. Should have kept on wrenching. Why show mercy now? Looks like they're bringing additional fire. Incoming! Here comes Shayna. GTS! Maybe not. Looking to give her. Becky Lynch from behind. The All right, here we go. Power bomb. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my. Surprised I didn't, I didn't go through the table there. You thought it. You think it, I would. So I was going through the table. Wherever it's the last thing I do. Shayna, you're not supposed to do that, Shayna. Oh well. We're seconds away from these teams being in even strength. Oh, that can rock you. And we see the attention being put on the torso area. And did you hear the impact of that? Better make your way into the bedlam quickly. Your team needs you. Eo Sky, who never drew a dime. There she is. She never drew a dime. Caught square by the haymaker. Looking for something under the apron before entering. We'll see how even these teams <laughs> I literally attacked Vicky because she attacked me. Oh hell no. Oh, and she lets her out of the submission. I don't know if it's mercy or if it's someone who's. Is that a sledge Emma? I think that's a sledge Emma. And that was taking the attack to the Becky. Yeah. The damage is exponentially multiplied. There it is. Snap suplex. Bob handle suplex. Oh, 
I think the last person on Bailey's team is um Tamina. Uh, unless it's Kari? It could be Kari, I don't know. Damage was certainly done, Michael. And for the team on the wrong side of this entry, things have gotten better. Gotta, you gotta back up Shayna, man. She has got her ass whooped big time. You're welcome, Shayna. Down she goes. Becky! Down goes Becky! Down goes Joan. Here we go, the War Games match is officially about to begin. Soon as Tamina gets in the ring. Well, technically, Shayna Baszler got the win there, but a win's a win. War Games! Becky and the captain are still celebrating their epic War Games victory. And why wouldn't they? You're now looking at the number one contender for the Women's World Championship and the GM who put her in that position. This will go a long way in shaping the future of the women's division on Raw. Shotzi? Is that a full-size tank? Oh, my God. Shotzi came prepared. I guess she graduated into something larger. She's not stopping. That's a huge-ass tank. I don't want to watch, but I can't take my eyes off what's about to happen. Shotzi just picked up speed. She's going to rail the cage. Stop. Into the Holy side. shit. Oh, oh fuck. This is what the fuck, man? Shotzi. I can't believe what just happened. What? What? Whatever her issue was, Shotzi took things fired. Too far she tonight. is fired. Shotzi, you're fired. You think you can do come and do that? I don't think so. What's Shotzi doing? I've had no problem with her. Yeah, I may have something to do with that. <laughs> Oops. Oops. I'm gonna be <laughs> out for months. Is that really all you have to say? How about oops? I got carried away booking matches, but forgetting to manage people. At least that seems to be the case, based on what I've pieced together. You're back. I was having a splendid time communing with the blue-footed booby of the Galapagos. But then, I caught wind of a few questionable developments. We should talk. Uh oh. I swear, I had it all under control. I watched Shotzi crash a tank into the War Games cage. Fair point. And perhaps, even more egregiously, you announced War Games without me. That's my thing. I <laughs> announced War Games. I'm sorry? Respectfully, you're fired from being Raw GM. I accept. It wasn't a question. All that being said, with our newly minted number one contender injured, we still need a challenger for Bianca. You know, what you've consistently failed to nail down. 
I hate rewarding you for this mess. But I'm a much better GM than you are, so I'm going to make the right choice for the show. And unfortunately, there's someone who helped lead her team to victory who's rightfully next in line for the opportunity. Bailey? You'll be getting the championship match against Bianca Belair on the next Raw. What? What? Nah, this is this is this is gonna end in shenanigans. <laughs> this is definitely gonna end in some kind of shenanigans here. There's no way Ferguson's gonna win that belt on Raw. There's no fucking way. Hold on. Okay. Oh my goodness! Seriously? No! I'm gonna have to redo the. Oh my word. Oh man, so I missed out on those storylines. I should have checked my social. Me oh. oh well. Here we go with this so called major announcement. I'm afraid this is a good news, bad news kind of night. And I've always been a bad news first kind of girl. So here goes. With our fearless leader, William Regal returned, looking quite tan, might I add, the time has come for me to step down as your raw general manager. I actually thought she did a great job, guys. Are you <laughs> kidding me, Byron? Well, at least it was exciting. All right, so there may have been some mixed opinions on my stint as GM, but I'm sure that's only because we all know where I really belong, which is fighting in a WWE ring. Not sure that's the only reason. Which is why I'm pleased to announce, given Becky's unfortunate medical status, at the hands of someone who William Regal has assured me will be dealt with, the real suits have decided to name a new number one contender for the Women's World Championship. Me! Huge news for the Women's World title. And that championship match is happening right now! After all the confusion around Survivor Series, we're finally getting to see Bianca defend her championship. So, Bianca Belair, let's this woman just will not stop. Shots, he's back. Captain. If her grievance was big enough to get her to take down the War Games cage in a tank, did you really expect her to let it go? Hey there, friend. Give it a rest, Shotzi. Haven't you done enough at this point? I think what you meant to say is thank you for making me number one contender, Shotzi. Sorry you hurt your leg in that unfortunate tank incident. <laughs> Wait. How did you get hurt when you were driving the tank? Is this really all because I didn't give you proper credit for your terribly original idea of let's have a war games match at Survivor Series and didn't even put me in the match? But no, this isn't an isolated incident. This apparently is just what you do playing in other people's sandboxes, stealing other people's ideas, and jumping every line. You may have William Regal fooled, but not me, and not the locker room. Oh, I'm sure, Shotzi. Cutting lines might work in TBD, but in WWE, there are consequences. Bailey? Told ya. Shenanigans. Arrowfoot. Shotzi just playing mind games here. Bailey from behind. Shotzi's found an ally who's not okay with being skipped over for a women's world championship match. I don't blame her. It was supposed to be either Bailey or Becky. Cap weaseled in there. Wait, we're getting a call from the back. This is Told ya. Shenanigans. We thought it was all over at War Games, but Cap getting named number one contender apparently upset. You want me? You got me. 
the ones who felt they were more deserving coming out of that War Games match. Either way, Bianca Belair just got a night off, while two of her possible future opponents are going to tear each other apart. The women's Fuck you, Bailey. Don't we all want to? Don't we all want to fuck her? <laughs> Dude, I'm really bummed about missing out on those two storylines before I got before I did the William Regal part that went to the GM mode storyline. I'm really bummed. I should have checked my social media to see if I could unlock them or not. But oh well. That is what it is. Must go down. So much for sneak attacks from Bailey. So much for that. Bitch. And Chelsea is such a bitter bitch. No talent hack who never drew a dime. Just can't accept that Joan is better than her in every possible way. All except the fact that Shotzi's idea for a war games match with little to no build is just a lame idea, something that AEW would do. Ferguson had the foresight to at least build, put some build and intensity and drama behind it. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Oh, look at this, show it off with a big flex. And then a kick to the back. Bailey is now under pressure. Bailey's getting beaten to the punch with every exchange. Come on, I want my I mean I'm bought it before. I hate when it I hate when it takes forever. Running elbow drop right to the heart. Drops the elbow. Oh, Bailey's not even worth Jane's time at this rate. No matter. You are done for. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. What goes up must go down. She certainly solidified her position as the number one contender. Shotzi from behind with that crutch. What the heck? She claimed she was injured. She was just pulling all our legs, Cole. Shotzi laying the boots in now. Compared to the tank, this is nothing. Finally, the referee getting control of the situation. She's using that crutch on her. She's throat. just a Shotzi bitter old bitch. Rushing the leg sweep with the crutch. At least Shotzi's made her point now, and we can finally get on to the business of the Women's World Championship next week. I'm not so sure, Byron. Neither am I. Based on what Shotzi said earlier, I doubt that this satisfied her desire for revenge. She's on a mission. She's just a bitter old bitch with no, dr with no talent. I love it. Rescheduled. <laughs> Oh, I, I remember this arena. This was in the 2K23, the British bra um, wrestling independent thing from the lock storyline. Are we going to unlock the arena here, or are we going to unlock that in the male version? It's actually one of my favorite arenas that, that I played in in 2K23 in exhibition mode. It would be nice if we unlock it right now. Oh, no, it's TBD, sorry. Does it look smaller? Huh? That's what kids always say when yes, they come TBD. back home, right? They go off to the great wide world, come home, and everything looks small. I haven't seen you around here much lately. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe a little smaller? I was in the neighborhood. Figured I'd stop in to get a few reps in before my big match with Bianca. Shotzi's not also in the neighborhood, is she? You know my insurance doesn't cover tanks. I don't think you have to worry. Tanks don't get great gas mileage, so she probably won't come crashing through the wall. No promises, though. And just when I was starting to feel nostalgic about you breaking things around here. How are you feeling after that crutch attack? I'm fine. 
Can you believe Shotzi's still bitter you didn't book her in TBD? And now she's turning it into a whole thing about how I stole her so-called war games idea. In fairness, it's you who didn't want to book her. What? Really? I believe your words at the time were, I'm not impressed. That does sound like me. But I was probably just being flippant. Being flippant without thinking that your actions could actually have consequences? Yeah, definitely you. Then, on purpose or not, Shotzi effectively brings you up to the big leagues, and instead of any sort of thanks, you steamroll right into a fantastical whirlwind tour of all things WWE. Let's be fair. I didn't steamroll right away. And Shotzi brought me to Raw so she could make an example of me. Maybe. But is that also why she pitched you the idea for a War Games match when you were GM? A match you thought was a good enough idea to book, but then shut her out of? I never said it was my idea. Besides, it wasn't a groundbreaking suggestion. And everything worked out. Right, because I'm sure the WWE Universe saw the superstar GM announce the War Games match, put herself in it, and then thought, hmm. Who else can I give credit to for setting up this awesome main event? It worked out for you. And now you get a championship match against Bianca Belair. Shotzi? Not so much. Jeez, whose side are you on, Geneva? You know whose side I'm on. But that doesn't that sound like it to me. I gotta be straight with you, to make sure you get your head right so you can take that title from Bianca. You know, after ignoring WWE for so long, Becoming their champion is the only thing I can dream of. Interesting. Very interesting. So it's back to TBD. Joan versus Bianca Belair for the title. Mino Shots. This is a moment of destiny for a woman who spent years crisscrossing the world and honing her skills before finally arriving in the big leagues of WWE. You can really feel the electricity. Shotzi never drew a dime, not a dime, not Maybe one not penny. Here. It's obvious Bianca's playing mind games with her opponent. Oh boy, here we go again. Shotzi's vendetta against the number one contender continues. What does she want now? Like she's had about enough of it. No, no, so guys, guys, it's not what you think. I have a seriously heartwarming announcement. Get out of here, you don't tell an heck. Can't be here tonight. This is the second time the number one contender's match has been called off. No, I told you, it's actually heartwarming Bianca was wrapping up an appearance at a nearby community center before the show when suddenly out of nowhere three buses of adorable children from a local school showed up excited to meet the women's world champion and you know how Bianca is she wouldn't leave until everyone got a picture and an autograph how those buses showed up just in time to prevent Bianca from making it here for her championship match tonight, we may never know. But Bianca just couldn't leave those sweet children hanging. Are what you seriously booing children? They're booing you, bitch. Wow. What a bloodthirsty bunch you all are. I did feel bad that you didn't have a match anymore tonight, though. Oh no, it's not me. I have the night off from in-ring action. What a pussy. Just like at war games. But these three women do not. What the fuck? What the fuck? This makes no sense. <laughs> Liv and Rhea, when those two are at each other's throats. What? And then we got Asuka there too. I think she said to bring it on. Easy to say, harder to survive. Who, who, who said shots that can call them shots around here? This is abuse. William Regal, do something. Honestly, 
This is a piece of power, Ringo. Come on, man. of children in the same day. What? That was Shotzi. Oh, because Shotzi's the night talent hack. He couldn't. He could never draw draw a dime. Huge fatal four-way contest here on Raw. Like you said, Corey, Captain. Oh my word. History with these three other superstars. What? I'm already knocked out of the ring from a drop kick. How dumb is that? Title match with Bianca. I think that's Shotzi's exact goal, Saxton. Temporary alliance, but you really shouldn't count on anyone but yourself in this kind of situation. Oh boy. I'll focus on Liv. Away slam. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. I did not think I was gonna have a very short storyline with Mick Foley, and then a sh and then a sort of mini long story as GM now we're doing this interesting stuff I'm gonna have to rename the stream when I'm done with this this didn't go out the way I thought it would be oh come on Liv stop doing it stop being weak and it looks like she wants to take this match outside stop being weak <laughs> fucking hell suplex no Oh, oh, belly to back suplex with the penalty. No, that's not that's not what I did. That is not what I did. Focusing on the shoulder like that can be felt all the way to your fingertips. There we go. That's what I want. There we go. Power bomb. Didn't go exactly how I planned, but oh well. Nick Breaker. Sleeper slam. Haha. Joan is putting on the clinic. Suplex City by Mommy Rhea Ripley. And we all know that Rhea Ripley and Joan Ferguson have their own uh, history when Joan Ferguson... What? What? I didn't even get a chance. Oh, well. Didn't even get a chance to try and fight back the submission meter. That's broken as fuck. Whatever. At least it's not a... Mandatory win. That that submission meter, dude, that's broken as hell. Sometimes it'll work and sometimes it won't work. Oh, what does she want now? Fucking hell, she gets on my nerves. It was you, wasn't it? You're the reason I'm missing my championship match with Bianca. Again. Oh, it's hardly my fault. Your car service was way too willing to accommodate your new itinerary. You know, they really should have some sort of security on that. Figured the least I could do was play hooky from Raw 2 so we could have a little chat. You really want to do this here? Fight in an airport lounge? Absolutely not. They'd never let me back in and I love their little mini cupcakes too much. I just want what's mine. What exactly is that, Shotzi? I can't go back in time and hire you at TBD. I can't go back and put you in war games. Your obsession with me is unhealthy. What's it is. unhealthy is theft. And I'm not just talking about war games. You may have gotten a free pass from Regal to waltz around WWE, ripping off other people's ideas, moves, and gear, but you didn't get a free pass from me. You're the number one contender. That should be me. What a fucking crybaby. Line in a match. Win or lose, we are done after that. What a fucking crybaby. To deal with your BS again? Fine. You're on. But only because there's no way I lose. Oh, I'm so sick to death of Shotzi being a crybaby whining and complaining. My word. False count anyway, easy peasy. But why do I get the feeling there's going to be shenanigans